Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is nearing its release. We've gotten a couple trailers so far that look beautiful like this one right here, but today they have released a new trailer and some gameplay for us today. I'm actually overwhelmingly excited. Let's just get started and see what new stuff they have to show for us today. Before we continue though, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out a ton to push my videos to new viewers, but now it's time. Gameplay Showcase. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to show the entire video that we have today, but they actually dropped some gems throughout this entire video. Woo! Exclusive gameplay footage. This is our first time seeing like direct gameplay of the game. Straight into a Goku event. I'm shutting up. Oh my. I will defeat. I had to take my monitor off of eye saver mode, bro. I got. Yo! We got the bounce from the Broly movie. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have a HUD. We have a HUD. Dude, this looks so like. I don't know how to explain it. This game gives me like a really like futuristic Dragon Ball game vibe. Woo! Oh, okay, we got teleportation dodges already. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Look at this environment and this aura. Oh my god. The camera is really shaky. I don't know how I feel about that. Come at me, huh? Ooh, that connected? I did not think that was gonna connect. Oh my god, bro, this environment is huge. Okay. Vegeta showing off some combos here. That connected? Okay, they definitely updated. They want more beams to connect after combos. That's gonna be a lot more fun. <laughs> Yo! Dynamic environments? Look. Hold on. Hold on, the sky is black. They have this in uh Dragon Ball Raging Blast, right? What the purple meter? Final flash! <laughs> okay. Let's go. Nah, they're going off. They're snapped already. Dude, the camera angles, okay. Transformation, Super Saiyan Blue. Do you wanna see? They snap, bro. This camera is like really shaky. I wonder if we'll be able to turn that off. I do like how it looks when you're flying towards. Okay, that was like, okay, they gave a super god fist. Okay, hello. I do like how it looks when you're kind of flying. The, the camera looks really, really cool. Get that out of here. Beam deflections are back. Hold on, Vegeta's Vegeta's battle armor is damaged? Okay. Oh yeah. Dude, this game looks so like. I can't explain it. The 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 style. And, oh my god, that was like a counter there. The style here, it just looks. Oh my, get off me. Perfect block. Oh! Teleportation weak! I need it. I need it. Give me the pre-order date. Give me the pre-order date right now. Woo okay, so this is just how it looks when you go full power, it looks like. They kind of have a similar thing to this where the sky goes black in Raging Blast 2. Super Kamehameha! Beam Clash! Oh, Vegeta's came out fast. Okay. Okay, it looks like you have to time the button input instead of just mashing your finger, okay. Interesting. Woo, that was amazing. That was nothing but. Let's go again. Is that okay with you? Oh yeah, I'm hooked. You got me. You got me. Just take my money. That was amazing. Hello? Hello? Dynamic 3D action battle. Bro, the camera, the way the shaky cam and like the way the camera looks when you're like flying toward, they definitely want to give you the feel of like being in Dragon Ball fights. I don't know how I feel about the impact. Like the way it kind of looks like it feels when, you know how when you play a Dragon Ball game and they each have like an impact you know, each punch kind of has like a feel to it. I really like it in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but it looks kind of light here. I wish it looked a little bit heavier when you're hitting each other. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know if I'm off on that one. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, okay. You're, you're almost like strafing in the air. Moving left and right in the air is a lot faster. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to 
Bro, Bro movement in fighting game. games is Don't really play. huge. Right. I'm sure no, a lot of you already know. Skill top. count. Okay, yeah, I did notice that. So in the top left and the top right, it looks like there's a new kind of meter. No! Oh, you can just fight back when you're getting hit. Okay. Only be triggered when you have enough skill count points. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, so you're definitely going to be having to watch your meter, kind of like the Storm series or... I'm actually impressed. I didn't think this game was going to be too advanced of a fighting game, but it looks like they're really trying to go in depth here to give players at least the opportunity to get really good at the game. And that's just... Some of the best games are like casual fighting games that have the elements to make it an intense actual fight game with high skill ceilings and stuff like that smash bros being a good example any dragon ball being a good example too new trailer time oh my god bro i'm gonna explode another trailer bro they're going so hard with the promotion of this game like they know they got a banger on their hands and they're just doing so well with just like putting it out there unreal engine bro oh my god you can wish list don't don't tell me budokai tenkaichi returns Okay, is there any new faces here? Full power! Trunks? You'll soon understand the difference in our power. Oh, buff trunks, okay. Speed is unmatched even among the prime trunks. Dispo? What? <laughs> yes! Yes! Give me a fast ass character, bro. Dude, the art style is crazy. Okay, we saw her in one of the scans that released. She's from the uh, Tournament of Power in Dragon Ball Super. How many are on Master Roshi, max I'm power. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, bro, I'm going to have to retread it. It looks like he can't fly. I just, I noticed that. It was really quick, but I noticed it. Nappa. And that was definitely Dragon Ball Super Roshi. Burger. It better be fast. Show me some fast combos with Burger, bro. Come on. You know. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Somehow, Burner always manages to be the fastest in every Dragon Ball game, and I love it. Okay, Topo. God of Destruction Transformation, maybe? Jace. Are we going to get all of the Ginyu Force again? Oh, yeah. Purple Sunday Crash, or whatever their combo move was called. <laughs> nice. Okay, team battles. That was Kale! Berserk Kale! Bro! <laughs> Where did his shirt go? Oh my god, bro. These environments. It's so stop. Yo! Better wrap this up quickly. Hit! Please don't be OP. Please don't be OP. I played Xenoverse 2 for too long, bro. Please. You cannot. Okay, time skip. Oh, this looks so sick. This is, oh my god. Overwhelming. Talk about overwhelming. Good grief. Looks like we've awakened a real bona fide monster. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, they're adding more characters. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the breakdown here, but that was definitely a lot. That was a lot to take in. They're so smart. They know exactly how to just like keep us going with this game, like keep us excited. First thing I noticed that was really crazy, we've got Goku doing the, the little bouncy hop that he was doing in the beginning of Broly. All the expressions and animations, if they really go hard on making this game as in depth impossible because the roster is big it's really big actually but it's not like insanely large like it's not like 200 characters so i do hope they have the time to put the effort in to make everything like really in depth and like if every character has like a little polish to it like that like little nice little thing a lot of these combos don't look too different you know similar to stuff that we've seen before but the thing that i've noticed the most from the gameplay part of this event is definitely the camera the camera is super Super shaky, lots of shaky cam. We can see you can strafe now in the air and you're moving really fast. They talked about that. But I want him to show it. Let's see where they show it. Whoa. Yes, you can see here. When you're flying towards or away from someone, the way they did the camera is so, it's so nice, bro. It feels like you're almost like, it, it feels like you're flying. Like they really wanted to get the effect of 
feeling like you're in a true Dragon Ball fight, what it feels and looks like to be flying around, sending beams, and just teleporting everywhere. They really wanted to capture what that really, what that effect will really look like, the dynamic environment. This map alone is huge, bro. I can't wait to see what other maps they have for us. This, bro, they got this in from Raging Blast 2? Like, why? Why? They didn't even have to do that. Guy goes dark. It looks like this is when you go up to full power. And it looks like, yes, your key gauge also goes down as well. And you can still launch attacks. Okay, interesting, interesting. Remember, in Raging Blast 2, it was really simple. I played that for the first time recently, so it's really cool that I'm noticing that in this game here. There's really not much else in the gameplay. You know, we've seen a lot of this before. We got transformations, deflecting beams. Beam Clash has been confirmed. That is another new thing that we saw. I really like what they did here with the gameplay. The only gripe I have so far with the actual gameplay, do kind of, I have to feel it in my hands, right? I'm sure when I have it in a controller and I feel the rumble, effect maybe it'll feel better but just from watching the gameplay alone i do feel like they're the impact is not really there like you know like i'm not talking about when they're lighting each other you know see right there you're not supposed to feel impact right because you know it's supposed to you're supposed to counter and break that clap but when someone has the upper hand and you're actually getting hit here i will say i don't really see or feel a big impact there oh, i, I no. kind of wish there was a little bit more there that's like a small complaint and then we've got bro just come on this looks so good. Like, this is going to appeal. This alone is going to appeal to so many fans of anime in general. You definitely do not even have to be an anime fan to see and feel the, like, how, like, how? It just, it's just like, bro, this is why Dragon Ball is so big, bro. It's, it's just so appealing to the, to the eye, to the ears, to the mouth. Hey, the yo. Of the actual trailer that we got, we got Super Trunks here. Okay, we can see he's a lot smaller here. So this is the normal version of him. Now we've got his transfer. Damn, hold on. His transformation looks sick too. We've got buff trunks. I like to call them buff trunks, but they're calling them super trunks. Power and then dispo says speed. That's cool. So they're trying to showcase that they're going to have some stronger but slower characters. And then it's going to be contrasted with the speed of fast characters like dispo i'm so excited to play dispo actually i really liked him in xenoverse 2 but he wasn't he wasn't good enough bro this character right here and also the next character that we're about to see master roshi as we can see these are both the dragon ball super versions of these characters from the tournament of power so i'm pretty sure it's been soft confirmed that we're gonna get to play the tournament of power in the story mode or the history mode whatever they want to call it i'm super excited for that that is obviously something that we are currently dreaming of bro being able to play the tournament of powers in the story mode is going to be absolutely sick and then not too much to see here we've got you know some new characters crazy characters but cool dude these environments look absolutely humongous and the way the art style is like really colorful the saturation is high and the brightness is kind of low i'm really it, it looks good bro it looks so good okay i don't want this video to be too long but yeah this this is insane i'm just gonna go ahead and end it right here let me know in the comments down below how do you guys feel about this this is getting a little crazy bro they're really just not missing there's really nothing negative to say you know we got some slight glitches maybe some people will find some more glitches in this trailer but it's insane like comment subscribe to the channel if you're new are you excited for this game comment down below that's gonna be it for me and i'm good.